are black and proud of who we are. We will continue to grow and honor those before us and those around us. We don't get enough recognition. As you all know, we lost one of our very own. Taj, you will be missed and forever loved. Just know we go enough for you. It is forever. Long live Taj. express the culture everyone has grown to love, the culture that is embedded into the deepest veins of your body. Yeah. Embody. Embrace my culture, but we definitely need to talk about what we need to set the streets. 
Agreed. But how have we influenced sports? We should give a hand to our brothers for men. They're going to come edu educate us. <laughs> All right, let's give a round of applause for the man club. Achieving Network Club. We will be reading about the first extraordinary African American athletes that broke barriers and accomplished greatness in professional sports. I am Jeremy, the president of MAN, and I'll be reading about Jack Arthur Johnson. In November 1897, the remarkable Jack Arthur Johnson instantly made history when he made his first debut as the first African American professional boxer. Throughout his boxing career, he won 72 out of 95 fights, and 30 of those wins were by knockout. Jack Arthur Johnson also became the first African American heavyweight champion in 1908. Uh, I'm the secretary of MAM, the African American Achievement Network. I'll be reading about Fritz Collar. Fritz Collar was born January 27, 1894, and passed away May 11, 1986. Fritz Collar was an American football player and coach. In 1921, he became the first African-American head coach in the National Football League, also known as the NFL. Pollard and Bobby Marshall were the first two African-American players in the NFL in 1920. Football partner Walter Kidd called Pollard one of the greatest runners since Isaac Washington. Sherman Leander. In 1922, Sherman Leander Maxwell made history by becoming the first African American sportscaster. Starting at 22 years old, he began doing five minute weekly reports for WNJR. He then became an announcer at Rupert Stadium and then Newark, Newark Eagles, as well as founding and managing the Newark Starlings, a mixed race semi professional baseball team. My name is Skyler. Uh, I'm the treasurer of Man Club. I'm going to talk about Arthur Rubin, who was known as the first African American soccer player in 1989. He was first recognized in the semifinals of the FA World Cup, playing as a goalkeeper. Throughout his career, he played for Rutherham Town, Chicago United, State of the British Celtic, National, and that's why they weren't for y'all. Aletha Gibson was the first ever African American tennis player and was the first ever to win the Grand Slam title. She was the pioneer and the beginning who paved, paved the path for those that we know today, such as the Williams sisters and even 1990s finalist Zena Gibson. of them committing to schools such as Cal Poly, Washington University, Boise State, San Jose, and many more schools. With that being said, may I have Rasheed Williams, Michael King, Kai Taylor, Keenan Higgins, Jimmy Walls, Odero Okaka, Terrence Henderson, and Buddha Boy come on stage. Our 
young black men, you never receive enough credit for the good you do and your accomplishments. Society always overlooks that, but today we are here to say we are proud of you and wish you well in the future. You will be the next ones to pave a new path for us. Remember, y'all set the trains and can't nobody stop you. No matter how far in life you get, people may never give you your flowers, but today, today we're giving you your flowers, just in case no one gives them to you later in life. You deserve it, keep doing what you're doing, and can y'all give it up for Pittsburgh's very own... Yeah. 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 Yeah.
was next? I think they ready. I think they ready now. So let's show them our train throughout the decades. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> a large number of black Americans paved the way for our future by migrating to the north from the southern parts of the United States. This migration sparked the new world of the Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance is a time of great social, cultural, and political change for black Americans. Not only did we start trends in fashion and music, but we also flourished within the, within the creative arts. From five decade patterns to tight curls and finger waves, from artificial jazz and blues, and from the amazing literary works of Winston Lee, Zora Neale Hurston, and Elaine Locke, we begin to set the show. In the early 2000s, 
we were nominated in the fashion music group. We set the trends from the York Shire series, Barbara Jones, Boots, Kenya, Kenya, Airbrush, Kenya, to Burbank, Jenny. We started the name of that trend too. So when you got to the abortion room, just remember, we started the trend. Our world 
Sora's lines can't be copied. We can't be stopped. We speaking facts. And all I wanna say is, <laughs> damn, I love you, black. Thank y'all. In this next segment, we're gonna have people speaking, rapping, and even dancing, and we're creating some iconic memes. So before y'all get to judging these dances, just know we picked them because they're created by black people. Okay? Just like that. One viral dance in particular was created by a young black man that was recently killed. Rest in peace, move. Let's not forget the idea of the assembly is to cover the different trends we set as a community. But I don't think y'all ready for what's coming up next. I really wonder if this next group is gonna come out here, pick it up, and kill it. Hey, pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Welcome to the BSU assembly. We about to teach you about some history. My name is Micah. I go by him, please. What about from St. Louis? By any means? By any means? Yeah, we do not cower. You know that all month? We show our black power. We are all black. You know how we do. We have a link. MBSU. MBSU. We all about unity. You should come join our black community. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. such as NAACP and C-O-R-E. Hi, I am Malia. I am in Quinte and I'm also in BSU and I'll be talking about Rosetta Tharp. 
as both the originator of pop gospel and a popularizer of the electric guitar, beginning in the late 30s and lasting into the 50s. Sister Rosetta Tharp had a great deal of impact on folk rock, R&B, boogie woogie, jazz, blues, and gospel. In the late 1930s, she was one of the first solo female singers in gospel music.
the storm. Baby, this is in my trunk, that's a rock, I feel a chain. I was sitting in prison, home, but that was jail, but still a day. I'm gonna leave the chapel, I got to take home. Let's <laughs> go. 